Okay, back again. Um, I just received a request from one of the viewers that's been around for a while. Um, he's kind of new to the technician field, but he's asking me to show him what I was talking about the other day with an ABS sensor. And I just got called in again. Um, I was here for one car and decided to hop into another one that they said they had an ABS issue with just to see if this would work. And sure enough, this will be perfect for this video. So. Um, I was just taking this on out. It's a 2006 Chevy Express and I'm going to show you guys what I'm setting up here. Let me just get it over here. All right. So I'm going to go directly into the ABS, right? Um, again, 2006 Express. Let's see. I'm going to pull a data display and I should already have a customized data display up on this, which I do. And this is what I normally watch. My four wheel speed sensors, if it has traction control, and the ABS pump. And then what I'll do is I'll turn that into a graph view so that I can take it for a quick spin. Now, I'm out here on a public road, so kind of not the best idea to have the phone in hand, but I'll try to do this for you. It's not those country roads that Ivan drives on, so uh, cops are abundant. But I'm going to take this thing, we'll go start going slow. And look at that, we can see an ABS activation already. So I'm gonna pull over to where I can get into a good spot here. I'm sure we can find a little side street here. Dead end, that's exactly where we wanna be. All right. Sorry for the uh, wobbly camera. But I'm gonna pause that. We actually had an ABS activation there as we stopped also. So. If we look, we're going to look at these little tiny time markers that are on here. 190, let's say 195. At the 195 mark, what actually happened? Well, this one here dropped all the way down. At the 195 mark here, this one was a little bit closer to that edge, I'd say. This one here, a little bit closer to the 203 mark. So let's zoom that back a little bit and see if that helps to see it. And we can start off over here let's look at when we first started accelerating the very first thing you're going to see here the first abs kicked in just before the 100 mark do you see how this one was already going probably about 90 this one was already going at about 90 this one was already going at about 90 this one here didn't even pick up until we almost hit that 100 mark so it thought that this left front wheel was binding or slipping or not moving at all so it decided to run the ABS pump on. Now there was a couple of little jumps in between there because it was a quick little stop and go. But if you look here, this one here drops out first before the other one. The other one's got closer to the 120 mark. I'll try to get it as close as I can for you. Maybe I'll even zoom it in one time without losing too much detail. But just be around that 120 mark, and yeah, that actually does make it a little bit easier to see. You'll see where the ABS pump came on. So this part here, it dropped out back over here again it came on later you can see the difference and that's when the ABS pump kicks on and that's when you'll get your little traction light that pops up on the dash so I know you would ask me um, for the information I won't mention the name but either which way I know you'll see this video and uh, that's for you so make sure you have something that can graph out all four wheel speed sensors I like putting the ABS pump on there it helps to identify it sometimes sometimes it's just blatantly obvious but in ones like this here where it's you know i want to you know get a time marker that that works out great all right so just something to share with you have a good one